And I want to say thank you uh, for all that are showing up. Uh, It's not lost on me. I I realize, uh, you know, it's a commitment to come and uh, to be involved in these things that are going on uh, when we enter into these these times of prayer. But I'm also convinced that, you know, as we set ourselves to do this, that uh, God's going to meet us. And... uh, you know, things are going to change. So I appreciate you giving of your time to do this, to come and pray, and to, to help further the spiritual growth of our, our church. Amen? Amen? So Philippians chapter 4, and uh, I'm just, I'm not going to expound on this a whole lot, but this is the scripture that the Lord keeps bringing me back to uh, concerning uh, what we're doing here. And he says here in verse 6, Paul says in verse 6, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, be careful for nothing, all right? Anxious is what the word careful means. Don't be anxious for nothing, but in everything. And then he says this, by prayer and supplication, prayer and supplication, supplication is definite request, all right? By prayer and definite request, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, all right? And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So notice the way we're supposed to approach these things. Uh, Not with anxiousness, but by prayer and definite request, all right? Well, again, prayer is just simply communicating with God. And as I'm communicating with God, then I make my definite request concerning these things. And that's where we talked a lot last year and talked a whole lot in prayer teachings where I say that's that's where you line it up and you get them in your sights and then you just pick them off and you take it one by one. I'll share one little illustration with you and then we'll we'll get into prayer. Uh, Last year uh, on uh, January 8th, my, our grandson was born, our first grandchild, and he'll be one year old next week. And, uh, but in any event, he was very premature, and uh, there were things that, you know, needed to happen, and uh, I won't go into all of the, the particulars, but the thing that we began to do and, uh, was just find out what needs to change, all right, what, what needs to happen, and the first thing they said was, well, he needs to gain strength. So, of course, that was a matter of of definite request, but uh, that's where the the nickname Mighty Griffin came from. He's he's mighty, all right? And then, so we got that, and then they said, now he needs to gain weight. So we started targeting that with our prayers. This is what needs to happen. And the scriptures were, you know, he'll be fat and flourishing. I mean, that's that's the way that we targeted these things. That's, that's a definite request. No matter what came up, it was, okay, we got this. Now what do we need to do here? All right. So you're believing for loved ones, either unsaved, loved ones that need healing, whatever it may be. If you're believing for a loved one to be saved, then, yes, I, Lord, I want you to save them. But remember that I'm promised that, especially where my children are concerned. Then there are things I need to target. I need to target their relationships. I need to target the people in their lives that are not being conducive to a, a godly lifestyle. I need them to be moved out of their lives. Yeah, I don't want anything bad to happen to them. They just got to get up out of my child's life. All right? I, I need that to move out of, out of the way. And then I got to target, and Lord, then bring godly influences into their life. Influence them with godly influences. Because it's not enough just to pray for something to be removed. We've got to pray for something to come in to fill the place of what was was removed. Remember, Elijah prayed that it wouldn't rain, but then he prayed that it would rain. Amen. And so it's, 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 yes, paramount that we pray for their salvation, but that's something that I'm promised in the Word. So that's something that I claim. I don't pray about that. I take that as a promise. Lord, according to your word, I thank you that my children are saved. I thank you that my household is saved. And Lord, now I thank you for removing any hindrances that are trying to stop this promise 
from coming to pass. Amen? And, and listen, all of us are in the process of, of, of learning more about prayer. I don't know everything there is to know about prayer. But here's what I know. What I do know works. And uh, <laughs> amen. And so we, we, we want to just keep, keep it simple and target those issues that need to change. Amen. Now, as far as the ministry goes, uh, I, uh, I heard from uh, Pastor Larry and Marie today, and they received the keys to their new building. Amen. And uh, not only did they get the keys to their new building, the lady in the meeting room that they were meeting in said, you all can use all the extra chairs that we have until you can get your own chairs. So next week, they'll be in. All they got to do is paint and clean, and then they'll be in. Amen. So, uh, but what we need to target there is the, obviously the continued growth of the fellowship. Amen. That God would continue to deal with us on how we need to do these things. Uh, the 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 the, the uh, fellowship in Ecuador, the fellowship in Ghana. Uh, our ministry was blessed recently that we were able to uh, help fund Pastor Munoz's trip over here for the KCM Ministers Conference in two weeks. Uh, he was looking for help to get that done, and we were able to help him do that. And so uh, God's good to us, Amen. But we need to target those things. This is the year of of restoration, recompense, and release. And we've got to keep that in our sights. Amen. And, and the last thing I want to tell you is I believe this. I was praying here this evening before anyone showed up, and I believe this with all of my heart, that there are things during this 14 days of prayer, and it can be either, this is how the Lord brought it to me, financial issues that have been hanging on, family issues or, or, listen, issues of the flesh, things that have just been hanging on that are fleshly in nature. doesn't necessarily have to be sinful, just something that you've been battling. I promise you, I, I, I've seen this in my spirit, that during these 14 days, those things are going to be broken. Those things are going to be broken because it is God's will that we walk in freedom in every area of our life. Amen. I say it's God's will. Amen. And I'm telling you, that, that, that spirit of pride and arrogance is going to be broken in a lot of people's lives. That, that, that area that, that plagues so many people, it's going to be broken. Uh, family issues are going to be resolved. Marital issues are going to be resolved because we're targeting it, targeting it with our prayers. Amen. I believe God. I believe God. Amen. And as long as we are seeking God... And putting our hearts into what we're doing in these times of prayer, God will answer us. God will answer us. Amen? And we're going to keep seeing people delivered, keep seeing people set free, keep seeing people's lives changed and turned around by the power of the gospel. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So tonight we want to pray. Now we'll pray over these uh, uh, requests corporately before we leave. Uh, I'll be praying over them during the meeting. I'm going to take them home with me and pray over them every day. And so God's going to do some wonderful things. Amen. Amen. And uh, uh, so get ready. Tell your neighbor, I'm ready for my loved ones to be saved. I'm ready for my body to be healed and my life to change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So we want to take the next few moments, and, and we want to, I say a few moments, the next little while and pray, and uh, I don't intend to keep you late, intend to try to have you out of here by 8 o'clock, but however you pray, whether you sit or kneel or walk or however you do it, we've got people joining us from Arkansas and other places, uh, we've been live streaming these meetings, and uh, so God's going to do some wonderful things, amen, and so however you pray, just lift up your voice, pray in the spirit, pray in the understanding, However you approach the Father, amen, but we're going to see answers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you tonight, Lord. I thank you. Lord, I thank you that you are our very own Father, and I'm your very own Son, Lord. I thank you, Father. I thank you that we have the right to approach the throne of grace boldly, Lord, and with confidence not be turned out, but Lord, you said that as we approach the throne of grace, that we will find help in a time of need. 
Lord, I thank you, Father, for the salvation of loved ones. Lord, those that have been put in this container tonight. Father, healing in their bodies. Manifestation of your grace in their lives. Father, deliverance from mental bondages. Father, we just pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would manifest yourself according to your word. You said the promise was unto us and those that were